Something nasty is in the air. On a bad day, you can see it. But pollution in London isn't as bad as it was, partly because it's being watched. Soot, grime, dirt, call it what you like. In 24 hours, it clogs a filter paper to a thick black film of filth that would only serve to obscure our otherwise colorful world. The Medical Research Council's Air Pollution Research Unit is one of the few places where they're allowed to brew up a good fug-making fire with non-smokeless fuel, all in the aid of cleaner air and better health. They study what happens to a man in a room full of smoke. One thing's certain, to make him cough, it doesn't have to be soup thick. The more dangerous pollutants are usually invisible. When he's had enough, no one's allowed to stay in there long, they take a look at his lungs and airways by locking him up in a box and asking him to pant. The whole body plethysmograph is a sophisticated computer age measuring machine. The unit, which is attached to St. Bartholomew's Hospital, has simpler tools to test our ability to breathe, or lack of it. The graph traces the action of the lungs. The biggest breathalyzer of them all. You don't blow, you suck in deadly carbon monoxide, diluted for safety, and then see how your reflexes have been hindered. Chasing the light is harder after a few harming lungfuls of the kind of air you breathe in a busy street. Absolutely pure air in cities may be a dream. This miserable looking chap may not be able to bring it any closer. Right now he's giving some blood, a pinprick, not a pint, to prove a point about cigarette smoking. After just a few puffs, he has carbon monoxide in his bloodstream. When it comes to lung disorders, say the unit, smoking is the worst offender of all. And that's not just...